Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. You know, one thing that I still struggle with is finding a test audience to give me feedback on my work before I publish. Feedback on your writing is not only important, but necessary to take it to the next level. And finding people who are willing to read your novel before it's finished, or sometimes even after it's finished, can be daunting. First, maybe some explaining. Your test audience, also known as beta readers, are people who read your book prior to release who don't have anything to do with editing. The best beta readers will be the ones who give you feedback beyond that of simply saying they liked or didn't like your book. What you want are people who will give you a breakdown of what they liked or didn't like and why. With that feedback, you can make any necessary changes that might have been missed through the course of your own editing, and make your manuscript stronger. Of course, as with any feedback, you want to examine it to see if it's relevant and won't harm your vision. So where do you find beta readers, and what do you ask them to get the right feedback? Beta readers can be found in many different ways, probably the easiest being your friends and family. If you have any friends or family who are active readers, and hopefully fans of the genre you're writing in, ask them to give you feedback. The biggest problem with family and friends reading your book is that no matter what happens, the feedback you get will be inherently biased. You might have to prod and probe a little bit to get an honest opinion, one way or the other. You might think automatically that they will be too positive, but there's also a chance they'll be overly negative to try and help. As stated before, with any feedback you get, you'll want to make sure to examine the merits and see if it applies. Another group you can get beta readers from are other authors you may know or might attend workshops with. Be careful with this, however, as you probably heard horror stories about authors trying to co-write a novel when all you want is feedback. You want them to look at it from a reader's standpoint. Your editor can help with sentence structure and copy editing. Be clear with what you're expecting from them, and hopefully it should help mitigate any issues. You can also search online for beta reading groups. These can be great ways to get opinions, as the members understand they're reading advanced copies and are expected to provide feedback. You'll get a great spread of different types of readers without the inherent bias of friends and family which is an ideal situation. You can find some groups on the site called Goodreads, and a quick Google search will probably give you loads of results as well. One way to get more beta readers if you're starving for them is by paying for their services. Sites like Fiverr offer services like that, but they can be expensive, especially if you have a long novel. Only do this if you absolutely need to. Try all other options before throwing money at it, as throwing money at something doesn't mean you'll get value back, especially when you can usually get it for free. So what do you ask back when you have your beta readers? This can depend on what type of story you're writing, but the basics should always remain the same. For example, I usually provide a list of different categories and ask for a rating out of 5 for each and then leave a little room for additional comments if they wish to elaborate. The categories are the hook. Does the story pull the reader in right away and then hold their interest? The conflict. What is at stake in the story and how is tension used? The characters. Are these compelling real people whom the readers care about? Setting and mood. Does the story make the reader feel like they're really there? Pace and style. How well does the writer use the words to move the story along? Resolution, does it have a satisfying ending? And of course, overall enjoyment, was this a story you'd actually buy? These together can give you an idea of what your book's strengths and weaknesses are, so you can improve them for the final copy. Depending on the genre, you might want to give certain categories more weight than others. For instance, in a thriller, the conflict might be slightly more important than the characters. Or in a mystery, the resolution needs to be satisfying, otherwise it will leave a sour taste in the reader's mouth. Build a list of what questions you'd like answered and create a list that works for you. 
Just remember to not make it a daunting three-page essay the reader has to complete. Otherwise, you won't get what you want, and no one will be satisfied. Whatever you end up doing, be sure to get beta readers, because they can make the difference between an okay novel and a great one. That's all the time we have today on Second Drafts. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to ask us your questions below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.